Hi friends, welcome to this new video on astrology. Today's topic is connected to a very interesting planet, Ketu. Ketu, the planet of mystery, secrecy, detachment. Ketu, the planet of even knowledge. Ketu, the planet of, uh, all right, uh, research and analysis. So we'll discuss what results Ketu will give you when it sits in each of the 12 houses or if it's in, you know, in any particular sign from Aries to Pisces, what results you can get. Do subscribe to this channel, do like the video and if you want personal consultation, details are there in the video description. All right, friends, let's begin the discussion. If you have Ketu, Ketu in Aries or in the first house, then what results you can get? Such natives can be impulsive, okay, uh, in their, uh, you know, in their actions. They may act without proper thinking because Ketu is headless. It is the dragon's tail, just as, uh, you know, Rahu is the dragon's head, Ketu is the tail. So, Ketu can uh, make you, you know, mindless, confused when it is in the first house. But this will happen only until you realize the purpose of your life. Once you realize your life goal, then this placement can give you very good results. Okay? And you can focus on the purpose of your life and eventually be successful in life. Okay? Because Ketu can also be the flag of victory. So, when you have Ketu in Aries, initially in your life, you may be detached from everything from your own affairs you know uh, from uh, whatever you know you may you may not be interested in your work in your even in your health you may feel detached from everything this can happen but once you realize your life goal and if you learn to focus then you will do well for that you need to look at ketu's position whether it is placed in good dignity whether it is being aspected by jupiter or a you know planet which is benefic then it will give you good results when Ketu is in the first house. Okay, so you need to check the position of Ketu in the uh, birth chart properly. Now, uh, Ketu in Aries or in the first house, is it's considered to be a very good placement if you definitely want to move towards some sort of spiritual enlightenment or growth, you know, spiritual growth uh, towards the later part of your life along with age and maturity if you have some sort of spiritual inclination or a desire for self-realization then you can do very well okay now let's move on to ketu in taurus or in the second house when you have ketu in taurus or in the second house then there may be some difficulty such natives may encounter some difficulty in speech or speaking fluently this can happen okay they may be detached from their family this can happen somehow detached either physically or emotionally when you have ketu in the second house or in taurus you may encounter some obstacles in accumulating wealth okay even in marital life you may encounter problems okay and you may uh, definitely have uh, challenges in accumulating wealth ups and downs uh, in wealth this can happen okay unless uh, your profession is connected to ketu otherwise you know there will be challenges in accumulating wealth this can happen now let's move on to ketu in uh, you know uh, ketu in gemini or in the third house gemini is ruled by mercury now here actually uh, mercury is your intelligence ketu is research analysis so initially such people who have ketu in gemini or in the third house they may be very confused regarding what they should do in life you know along which direction they need to make efforts so that they can be successful in life initially they may be very confused but once they find the purpose of life and once they start focusing you know and they uh, f make uh, okay conscious efforts and they really uh, you know focus uh, in making efforts along a certain direction then they will start succeeding in life now ketu in gemini you know ketu gives you analytical skills so 
such people can be deep thinkers when you have Ketu in Gemini. You can also be a very good writer. You can be do well in the field of journalism, in the field of occult sciences like astrology, tarot, numerology, etc. When you have Ketu in Gemini, you can do well in these fields as well. You can do well in any kind of research investigation. That will uh, be a very good placement if you have Ketu in Gemini or in the third house. Now let's move on to Ketu in Cancer or in the fourth house. When you have Ketu in Cancer or in the fourth house, Cancer is ruled by Moon. So is the fourth house uh, in the chart of the cosmic man. Moon and Ketu are not uh, believed to be friends. They usually uh, you know, are considered to be somewhat enemies in astrology. So uh, in this house, it can give you tension, stress. Okay, you may be distanced from your mother, from your home. You may have to uh, live in a foreign land, especially in the Dasha of Ketu. You can see that uh, you, you know you will ex you may be ex you may experience such detachment from your mother or home. Okay, so Ketu in Cancer or Ketu in the fourth house, you may love your mother uh, because Ketu can only feel. Okay, so you may love your mother. Ketu has a heart. It may not have a head, but it has a heart. So you may love your mother, but somehow you may be distanced from your mother. This can happen. Then also, uh, you know, when you have Ketu in the fourth house or uh, Ketu in Cancer, then you may be uh, somehow, this is also true, you are spiritually attached to your house, to your home. You may be physically separated, but spiritually attached. Then uh, also, this uh, placement of Ketu is very good if you want to, uh, you know, move towards any sort of occult field. Uh, suppose you want to do any sort of occult practice. Uh, you want to study any of the occult fields, uh, like any of the occult sciences, like astrology, or tarot, or even Vastu. Uh, this placement is very good. You can do. You can do research in any of the occult sciences. You can be a very good psychologist when you have Ketu in the fourth house or Ketu in Cancer. For in any, any field which is con concerned with investigation, that will be good for you. Investigation, research. Now let's move on to Ketu in Leo or Ketu in the fifth house. Leo is ruled by Sun. This uh, position of Ketu is also generally not considered to be that good. You may be somehow distanced from your child or children. Okay, you may encounter problems, obstacles in your education. This can happen. Okay, uh, you may also, you know, uh, encounter ups and downs uh, in, uh, you know, in your fortune. This can happen. Fifth house is also connected to your fortune and prosperity. So encountering obstacles in that area of life. So this can happen. Um, uh, encountering obstacles in establishing yourself in life. But yeah, if your profession is connected to Ketu, like research, investigation or occult fields or any sort of uh, you know, even medical science, surgery, uh, law, then it can give you good results. Okay? Now, uh, you may also be get de detached from your l uh, lover or beloved. Some distance. And you may there may be some separation from your lover or beloved. Now let's move on to Ketu in Virgo or in the sixth house. When you have Ketu in Virgo or in the sixth house, Virgo is also ruled by Mercury. Now, such people can actually be very deep thinkers. Okay, you can also do very well in the field of any sort of investigation research. Here, Ketu in the sixth house can also enable you to be a humanitarian, uh, to be uh, somebody who believes in charity. Okay, you can be a philanthropic person. You can believe in charity. You can believe in serving humanity. You can believe in social service. Okay, <clears throat> initially you may encounter, uh, this can happen, your job may undergo a lot of changes or transformation. This can happen. Okay, but if you are regular <clears throat> in your job, because Ketu is also a planet, of regularity repetitive work and discipline so if you're regular in your job if you're disciplined then there may be changes you may shift to a different company or 
a position but you will do well you will rise in your job <clears throat> the key is that the key is discipline you have to be disciplined then only you will see growth in your profession when you have ketu in virgo or in the 6th house okay yeah if you are suffering from a disease also if ketu is in good dignity being aspected by some benefic planet you can come out of that disease as well and ketu can also bless you with health good health now let's move on to ketu in libra or in the 7th house when you have ketu in libra or in the 7th house then definitely libra is ruled by venus this is not considered to be a good placement for marriage marital relationship it is not considered to be good uh, you may be sep- you may get separated from your partner because ketu is there initially there may be problems in the relationship then they, then there can be some detachment emotional detachment and later on there could be separation also from the partner this can happen when you have ketu in libra or ketu in the 7th house okay this uh, placement of ketu can also give you ups and downs in your business if you're doing any sort of business you may encounter ups and downs you may also uh, but this placement of ketu can enable you to undertake foreign travel it can enable you to go to foreign lands okay now let's move on to ketu in the 8th house 8th house is also the house of ketu in scorpio or in the 8th house 8th house is also the house of your marital life so ups and downs in your marital life 8th house is also your sex life so some problems even in your sex life you may encounter so there may be problems with your life partner okay uh, somehow you may get physically separated from your life partner due to some reason if you have ketu in the 8th house then you may be detached even from your in-laws this can happen but this placement of ketu in scorpio ketu is believed to be very powerful or even exalted in some texts in scorpio this can give you the ability to be a researcher investigator it can make you an occultist like or an, like an astrologer tarot reader numerologist or it can make you a very successful chartered accountant you can do well in the field of technology if you have ketu in the 8th house and ketu is somehow connected to your profession 10th lord 10th house or saturn then you can do very well in any of these fields which is connected to ketu otherwise there may be ups and downs changes in your profession okay so that is why when you have ketu in the 8th house you may develop a lot of uh, interest this can happen especially during the dasha of ketu uh, you may have a tendency to focus on any sort of occult sciences like astrology or you may do any sort of research for doing research this placement of ketu is considered to be very good any kind of research investigation even the field of law medical science surgery is also very good for this placement now uh, uh, you know this placement is good for any of these fields now let's move on to ketu in sagittarius or in the 9th house when you have ketu in sagittarius or in the 9th house it can enable you to undertake foreign travel you can visit foreign lands this can happen now ketu uh, in the 9th house uh, it is good for acquiring higher knowledge higher studies especially if you are focusing on higher knowledge because this uh, uh, sagittarius is ruled by jupiter jupiter is the planet of knowledge ketu is also the planet of knowledge and research and analysis so this placement of ketu can make you a knowledge seeker if you are focusing on knowledge then you can do very well if you have ketu in sagittarius or in the 9th house but yes you may encounter some obstacles in your higher studies there may be some problems with your father some difference of opinion with your father you may feel detached from your you may be detached from your father this may happen okay now uh, next let's move on to ketu in capricorn ketu in capricorn or in the 10th house all right anyway ketu in capricorn or in the 10th house here uh, 10th house is cons- is uh, your profession so your profession can transform your life 
because Ketu is also the planet of transformation. You need to be regular in your work. If you're regular, then definitely you can be successful in your profession. But nevertheless, your profession may undergo a lot of ups and downs. Okay, a lot of changes, upheavals, okay, <clears throat> can be there in your professional life. This can happen when you have Ketu in a Capricorn or in, uh, you know, Ketu in Capricorn or in the tenth house. This can happen. Now, <clears throat> when you have Ketu in Capricorn or in the tenth house, uh, you may initially you may feel detached from your work, okay, uh, but uh, you need to really focus on your work actually okay ketu will give you good results only when you focus because ketu gives you the ability to go deep and analyze things okay and so initially you may feel detached from your work but uh, and a lot of ups and downs and changes in your profession this can happen now let's move on to ketu in aquarius what results you can get when you have ketu in aquarius all right, friends, when Ketu is in uh, Aquarius, then uh, what results you can get? Ketu in Aquarius, Aquarius is the sign which is ruled by, uh, okay, Saturn. All right, so Ketu in Aquarius can, uh, uh, you know, and it's an 11th house is also ruled by Saturn. But 11th house, the significator is Jupiter. So when you have Ketu in Aquarius, you may initially be detached from uh, you know the gains because 11th house is the house of gains okay you may be detached from uh, you know even monetary gains and everything you may feel uh, you know you may not be at all attached to them or you may be disinterested or you may encounter obstacles in gaining from your profession this can happen encountering obstacles in gaining from your profession unless your profession is connected to ketu okay so but nevertheless it is in the house of gains so you may encounter gains you may encounter obstacles in your gains okay monetary gains especially from your profession uh, you may be detached when ketu in aquarius or in the 11th house you may be detached from your social circle you may feel detached from your social circle this can happen okay <clears throat> then ketu in aquarius uh, is again very good for uh, you may be detached from your elder siblings also it is very good for doing any sort of uh, research aquarius is also the sign of research 11th house is ruled by jupiter saturn so jupiter is the planet of knowledge saturn is also connected to analysis in depth not you know uh, analysis investigation so aquarius is actually the sign of research and ketu is also in depth analysis and research ketu gives you that ability so when ketu is in aquarius or in the 11th house if you're moving towards any sort of research investigation it will give you a lot of good results it can give you gains in life okay this can happen but yeah you can feel you know detached from your social circle this can happen now let's move on to ketu in pisces when you have ketu in pisces actually uh, you may uh, definitely uh, you know uh, th this uh, ketu in pisces is a position which is also again considered to be very good for uh, being an occultist uh, for being an astrologer or tarot reader or numerologist this position is very good for any sort of spiritual practices for going into spirituality <clears throat> for yoga meditation ketu in pisces is a very good position ketu in pisces also can enable you to go to a foreign land uh, during the dasha of ketu you may definitely go get an opportunity to go to a foreign land this can happen all right now uh, Ketu in Pisces can give you great imaginative powers, okay? Mm, definitely it can make you someone who's very dreamy and imaginative. But this will happen when you are focusing on your imaginative power. Yes, you, you, you realize that you have great powers of imagination, meditation, okay? Intuition. And you're focusing on all that. Then you will get very good results. 
okay it can bless you with great intuition with great occult powers okay it can bless you with healing powers even when you have ketu in 12th house or in pisces all right so that was my take uh, on ketu in each of the different signs from aries to pisces and when or when ketu is placed in each of the 12 uh, in all the 12 houses all right so i hope this video has uh, benefited or has helped you in some way so friends do subscribe and if you want personal consultation details are there in the video description thank you